Hey there, Shuby Doodlers. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a melting clock. So I'm going to start by drawing a line like that. So imagine that's the edge of a table or something, and it's going to drip over the side. So let's start by drawing the bit that is flat on the table. And if you can imagine, that would come all the way around like that if it was just a normal clock. But we're going to fold it over the edge. So we'll go down like that. And here we go down like that. <laughs> and we're going to let it drip. Something like that. There we go. Now we're going to draw the, the rim of the clock. And we make that quite sort of thin there. But then we're going to make it thinner as we come around here. Because we're seeing more of the edge of it here. And that will come down and it will get thinner. So this will kind of follow around and down just much thinner on that side like that. Now you've got the glass and then there's a gap underneath it uh, to, for room for the hands to move around. So let's put a little bit of thickness in there under the glass like that. I'm following around like that. When we come down to here, then we'll just let that sort of go in like that, maybe a bit down there as well. So this bit here is on this plane, so we can draw like the 12 in there, that way, and we can draw the one, and then the two is gonna be kind of going <laughs> sort of slightly weird like that, and then the three will be about there, and the nine, let's put the nine across there, so that we can have 11, and then the 10 is going to kind of fold over, isn't it, like that? So the 10 is going to be a bit wobbly. That's a bit like a jelly bean there. We'll have the 6 is quite dripping. And we'll have the 5 and the 4, 6, 7. And let's start the 8 at the bottom like that. There we go. Then we need the little bit in the middle which the hands are attached to. So we'll put that on sort of about there, I think. So that's an ellipse, draw to the side like that, so it's kind of the thickness of that. The, the second hand is going to come up and fold across like that. And we'll then sort of make a, have a little point up at the top like that. We can do that there. And then let's have this at sort of, oh, seven o'clock. So this can come down here and then the the big hand is just bigger, isn't it, <laughs> like that? And um, we can maybe do something like that, because sometimes they have the, the middle punched out like that, don't they? That's going there. Um, we can add a little bit of shadow here and make them wider and wider apart and then just turn into dots, and then that will fade away. We can do the same here make them fade away and maybe a little bit here as well just to get around that corner then we can put let's put the edge of that table in and we can erase that pencil line there so nobody knows how you worked it out we want a little bit of kind of extra thickness on this side so we can put those lines in there and then we'll want a little bit of shadow on the side here so this is uh, hatching okay so this will put shadow in there and it gives you the effect of not being sort of a jet black shadow. And we can bring that all the way down like that and then it can just fade out like that. If you make this part slightly grey then that will kind of change things and some extra little bits of shadow and there you go. How to draw a melting clock. Thanks for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.